Soul Calibur 3. Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to Welcome. Ooh, the next series after that very long intro. Oh, Soul Calibur 3. Let's jump into the single player. So we're going to be doing Tales of Souls, which is basically this game's story. Play through each character's unique story. So who am I going to be? I have almost everybody unlocked. I think there's maybe two characters that uh, that I don't have unlocked in this game, but I don't know if you can use... I know there's one character you can use in the story, but I haven't unlocked him. I don't know how to unlock him. Uh, but I don't think he appears anything else, so it's not consequential. While everybody else, uh, I have played somewhat. Anyway. So who are we going to be? How about to start this off, let's be one of the new characters that's introduced. The Setsakura. What's your costumes? Oh, that doesn't look too bad. A red version. Yeah, let's just go with that, your default. Let's see what weapons. Let's go with the moonlight. So Sakura had no family and was not of Japanese descent. Prosecuted for her background, she fled Ed from place to place and became a drifter at a young age. A man took her in, showing her kindness and teaching her the art of Batasutsu. To Setsatra, the man was both her teacher and father and had become the most important person in her life. Over a decade had passed till one day their peaceful existence suddenly came to an end. The man faced off against Hitsu Mitsurugi and the wound the man suffered eventually led to his death. Before his grave, Setsuko realized that the love she had felt for her teacher and vowed revenge against Mitsugi. She learned that if she pursued the sword man by the name of Nightmare, she would find Mitsugi. But there was someone who, who fought to so stop Setsuko from following the trail. I was hoping I would get to read most of that because that went by somewhat fast. It seemed that Mitsurugi was traveling the world in search of the sword called Soul Edge. Edge. The information Setsakura found in Japan told her only that a man known as the Azure Knight had the sword in the distant land of Europe. As she made plans to cross the sea and travel the world, a woman appeared before her. Er, the woman asked Setsakura if she intended to pursue Soul Edge. When Setsakura answered yes, the woman immediately drew her blade. Her shadow moves with stealth and disappears into darkness. My life is not yours for the taking. Well, at least your stance is correct. Ha. Versus Taki. Fight! Let's take on Taki. So I love her weapon because her weapon is a sword in an umbrella. It's honestly kind of a, a kind of a fun weapon. I think that's something that like like certain types of geishas would use in uh, Japan and either as a way of assassination or as a, a weapon of, of self-defense even before I drew my blade so Sakura fought off the sudden attack had this woman viewed viewed people searching for soul edge as a threat but the voice that might answer that question was already gone Setsakura headed for the port and set out into the world. She crossed the sea and arrived on the mainland. Mitsurugi should be heading for Europe in search of Soul Edge. In order to locate him in an adventure master, Setsakura began the end journey to Europe. So we can either go by land or by sea. Based on your choices, we'll base on what stage we go and what opponents we face. Let's travel by land. As Setsakura headed west along the Silk Road, she began to hear rumors about sightings of a bizarre lizard-like creature. Judging from the content of the rumors, it seems she had wound up following the trail. Hell, did this monster really exist? Dubious, she continued on her way. Suddenly, an inhuman cry reached her ears. 
as she reflectively reached for her blade. The last threads of sanity unravel in the mind of the man who is no longer human. Let's see what you can do. This looks like Egypt. Is Egypt located in Europe? Or at least decently close? Ow. Ow. Damn it. Got the got the parry. You win. Fear me, for I am a demon. The reminder of Sitsakura's journey to Europe was uneventful. She began gathering information as soon as she arrived, but there was no rumors of any swordsman like Mitsuruki. When she moved on to investigating Soul Ol Edge, a man who claimed to be knowledgeable about Soul Edge appeared before her. As she headed for the clock tower, as he had instructed, she began to feel uneasy. Didn't it seem a bit too convenient? Involve yourself with that sword if you wish to live. I shall have to kill you if you continue. You're better than I expected. Your skills are quite impressive. I have no choice but to draw my sword. Versus Zasalamel. Fight! Let's fight Zasalamel! Ow, and he's... I went to grab in the game like, no. Okay, I thought he was gonna go fly off the stage out of his own fruition, and I was gonna laugh. And said he ring out me. You lose. I thought this was just for fun, but nine, eight. Don't even dare think that this will be easy. Very well. This should be interesting. Let's try that again. Fight. Ow. Oh, he broke out of it. Good, got the KO. You win. The fight was decided even before I drew my blade. The sword? What do you know about Soul Edge? I place my curse upon you, warrior from the Far East. Without answering her question, the man with the scythe melted away into the shadows. He was a mystery, but much was but this much was certain. He was testing those who sought Soul Edge. Ignore the man, continue the journey, or should or should po it should be possible to learn something from him. Um, yeah, let's pursue. Said Sakura pursued the trail of the man with the scythe, but, uh, but she soon lost him completely. All that remained were the man's words echoing in the empty air. The Azure Knight, Nightmare, has risen once more and now wanders in search for the power he lost. If you desire Soul Edge, then seek him out. A gust of wind blew away the man's words, leaving only Said Sakura behind. Search for the Astro Knight. Sitsaka traveled from the land, from land to land, gathering information about the Azure Knight. But she had difficulty finding anything useful. One day, she heard a rumor of a samurai who sounded like Misurugi. He had appeared at a hidden arena. 
If he, if it really was Mitsurugi, then there's no need to pursue Soul Edge. She hurried to the arena, but the arena was filled with people, and it looked like, like it would be difficult to find the man she sought. Fate conspired to arrange their battle. I guess you don't care if you live. Please get out of my way. All right, time to fight some custom characters. Fight. Too slow. Throw you on the floor. Stab you. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Oh. When they get out of the guard, it always catches me off guard. You must fight to live. That's all there is to it. Time to die. Versus Gladiator. Fight. Too slow. Throw you onto the floor. You win. <laughs> it was decided even before I drew my blade. It's too late to cower in fear. Versus Dragon. Fight. Dragon. Perfect. You win. The fight was decided even before I drew my blade. Four new items are available in the weapon shop. Okay. In the end, she did not encounter Mitsuruki at the arena, but there was no question that he had been there. Yeah, but he was already gone. It looked like the best path was indeed to search for Soul Edge. Based on the information she had gathered so far, Setsaka speculated that the sword wielded by a pirate who had recently been ro roaming the Western Sea might be Soul Edge. It didn't it seem to be the Azure Knight, but the, but the Azure Knight had not been seen recently. It is possible the pirate had taken the sword from him. Setsaka headed to the port and boarded the, ordered a ship heading out into the Western Sea. Out on the ocean, she saw a silhouette of a ghostly ship approaching. I have no need for weak souls versus Cervantes. I forgot that was a quick time event. So I took some damage. And took him out easily. You win. Let the wounds from my blade be your demise. As the defeated pirate was swallowed by the sea, his last words were of regret and anger. He too had been seeking Soul Edge. In other words, his sword had not been Soul Edge. But right now wasn't the time to be worrying about, about that. The fear. Ears battle had destroyed Setsaka's ship. It would stay afloat much long wouldn't stay afloat much longer. She had to find a way to make it make it back alive. You can drift until a sh ship sails by or try swimming. Several days later, Setsaka was rescued by a ship that passed by. Aye, the ship was bound for Asia. During the journey, she heard an interesting rumor. The Emperor of Ming was searching for Soul Edge. It seemed he had been in sending out our secret search teams for some years now. If that was true, then there, sh there should be a large volume of information collected in, M in Ming. The ship eventually arrived in port, so Sakura disembarked and headed for Ming. She has found the true meaning of strength.
Don't expect any pity. We're in China. Are you ready for this? Versus Shangpai. Fight. Let's fight Shangpai. <laughs> Ow. Oh, she broke out of the grab. Oh, come on. You lose. You must cut your own path through fate. Nice. This had better be worth my time. Okay, I have to do this. Let's go. Let's try that again. Hopefully, this will be much better. Ow, she is kicking my ass. Okay, I hate that she's dodging most of my attacks. You lose. And that's the end of that. Nice. If it's a fight you want, you shall have it. My resolve. Let's try that again. Versus Shanghua. Fight. Too slow. Come on! How does her attacks have priority? She grabbed me? Wow, she is really kicking my ass. Nine. So you really want to die, don't you? You're going to regret this. Versus Shanghua, fight. I mean, the fights are faster because they're one round in st in this mode. But oh my god, she's kicking my ass. She's being very good at dodging most of my attacks, which is the most annoying part. You lose. Apparently she is my wall, apparently. I'm sorry, but I won't give in. Versus Shanghua, fight. If I keep losing, I'll eventually cut to a round where I win. I don't know why she's kicking my goddamn ass. You lose. I Let's see what you can do. Guess I'll fight ya. Versus Shanghua, fight. <laughs> Throw you on the floor. Come on, who's doing so well? And the game said, nope. You really did Nine. this to Screw you, Shang Pa. Think that this will be easy. Show me what you've got. Come on. Versus Shang Pa, fight. Okay, why did she just stand there doing nothing? I inputted a button and she decided, nope, I'm not going to attack. Got her. You win. The fight was decided even before I drew my blade. After how many attempts? Since Sarko successfully infiltrated the mansion where the information was being stored and attained for herself, according to what she found, Ming was searching for Soul Edge. Despite the years they had spent on the project. It had yet to bear any fruit. Despite this, the information was more useful to Setsakura. 
said Sakura headed for Ming's border and put the country's safety behind her. Using the information she had attained, said Sakura pursued Soul Edge and in one city she stepped in, she heard rumors of a young man who was investigating Soul Edge, seeking further information about the sword, said Sakura entered the mountains in which the young man was said to live. She arrived at a cave temple and met at the youth, who told her that Soul Edge was an evil and dangerous object. He tried to stop her from searching for the sword, but she had a goal. She wouldn't give up here. His eyes reveal a man of renewed purpose. I guess you don't care if you live. Listen, my soul rages with strength. So we're fighting Kilik. Versus Kilik. Fight. Hopefully you're not going to be as annoying. The one annoying thing, you uh, you have more range than me. Oh, come on! You lose. That was a low. But not enough to beat me. Nice. Don't I was doing well, and the game's like, no. I'll show you the way of the Ling Shing Su. Versus. I'm gonna kick your goddamn ass, Killick, for that. Good KO. You win. The fight was decided even before I drew my blade. So Sakura has expected it for a while. Oh now, but she's now certain that Soul Edge was evil. Did Mr. Ruki know that? Perhaps he did. The only thing he lived for was strength. But she was different. In order to make sure that uh, she was not swallowed by Soul Edge when she attained it, she would need to know how to hold on to her will in preparation to Sakura's search for people with detailed knowledge of Soul Edge. A new journey lies ahead for her. This had better be worth my time. Well, aren't we cheeky? This will be fun. Ah, so we're fighting Ivy. Ivy, fight! Oh, she had a back. I could have done a back throw. Oh, come on, Ivy. And of course she grabbed me. You lose. This sword is my treasure. Nice. If it's a fight you want, you shall. I had I do so well at the beginning of the fight, and then the AI wakes up and is like, "Yeah, you're not winning." Be fun. Versus Ivy, fight. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you, Ivy! You lose. You didn't even have time to feel remorse. Nine. So you really want to die, don't you? Well, aren't we cheeky? This'll be fun. Versus Ivy. Fight! Throw you onto the floor! Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh, you're not winning, Ivy. Not when you're on a sliver of health. There we go. My sword is the only thing I have left. Sitsaka felt like she was being watched. The Almighty One. The all enemies before time runs out. To cut your own path. My life is not yours for the taking. <sighs> Versus Sheree. Fight. Come on, usually these fights are not that hard. And the game said, screw you. Using the information she attained, Satsarka closed in on Soul Edge. As she did so, rumors of a man who was probably Mitsuruki increased as well. He might be drawing close to Soul Edge. Upon arriving at the cathedral where Soul Edge likely lay, she hurried inside to ensure that uh, she reached it before Mitsuruki. She didn't know if she, if she could beat Mitsuruki once he had the sword. She had to win this fight. My master must be avenged. I don't know what you're talking about. Versus Mitsurugi, fight! <laughs> How many times we're going to lose to Misurugi? God. Hate how the AI is like suddenly, yep, I'm super good now. You lose your sword skills. Now I remember. Now. Let's see what you can do. Don't let your guard down, or you'll die. Versus Mitsurugi, fight! Oh, come on! You lose your sword skill. Of course he would win by ring out. Nine. Don't even dare think that this will be easy. Time to meet your maker. Versus Mitsurugi. Fight! I hate that they get out of the throw like that. Let me get up, you asshole! You lose your sword skills. Nine. I guess you don't care if you live. You're eager to die. Very well then. Oh god. Versus Mitsurugi. Fight! <laughs> Why is he suddenly super good now? And of course he was in a jump so I couldn't grab him! You lose your sword skip. Don't expect any pity. Here I come. Versus This will definitely be a case I will be cutting to a winning round if I lose this. What a great start to this project, getting my ass goddamn owned. I do not remember the AI being this difficult! You lose your sword skills. Cutting to a successful round. Nine. This had better be worth my time. 
Don't let your guard down, or you'll die. Okay. Versus Mitsurugi. Fight! Too slow! I'm to I cheat ground. Oh, and as soon as I said I'm gonna cut, I win in, in that round. Would not bring him back, but it had to be done. Mitsuruki's body laid among the fallen bars. Bars, but Soul Edge was not in his hand. What was it about Soul Edge that had driven this man to such lengths? As she broke through the bars blocking her path, a death scream reached her ears. She was hearing sounds of a sword or battle for a while, and now it seemed to have concluded. Undoubtedly a battle for Soul I dodged the bars! Oh, there we go. I was about to say, it's like, I know for a fact I dodged the bars, so I... Here we go, now to fight Nightmare. By the way, I love this song. Oh, that was a low. Hit him! I don't know why her, none of her attacks wanted to hit him. You win. You must fight to live. That's all there is to it. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Not bad at all. My dream is about to be realized. You, however, are not worthy of witnessing this glorious moment. Leave this place at once. Got that attack was a quick time. Now, not ever. I think that was block. Yeah, but I'm not gonna win this round because I took that hit. Because I forgot he froze that, and that's a quick time. If it's a fight you want, you shall have it. Versus Abyss. Fight. Okay, this abruptly ended his conversation. Now, Abyss is annoying because he hits hard. So do not be surprised if it takes a few tries on this guy. And the game wouldn't let me do anything. As soon as I press a button, he's like, nope, I get priority, so you don't get the move. You shall have He <laughs> just abruptly cuts off his dialogue. Okay, that was easy. You win. The fight was decided even before I drew my blade.
I have no need for something like this. What do you intend to do with that? <coughs> what are you intending to do with that? So it's revenge. I won't ask your reasons, but you should cast away your sword. Long ago, I shared the same lust for vengeance as you do now. But that will not make anyone happy, including yourself. And there's the credits, so yeah, these character endings have quick times. I might do some of them depending on how I feel the ending should go, but yeah. That was her ending. And oh my god, I do not remember the AI in this game being that annoying. So yeah, this is a great start. Like, even after showing the game's intro, I wasn't expecting it to take, like, around 40 minutes. So, if it's gonna be like this for the majority of the episodes, then... Yeah! <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of fun, especially since I don't remember the AI kicking my ass that much. I know it's been a long time since I played, but I don't remember the AI being that difficult. I'm pretty sure I have it set to easy. I'm gonna have to double check. But, I. And in some of those scenes, I just legit forgot there were cut, there were quick time events in those scenes. But yeah, I love Sit Sakura. Sad that she was only in this game in four, and then I don't think she should get to reappear in the series at all. Not even in the reboot. I hope she comes back because I love her weapon. I love her fighting style. The idea of a sword in um, hidden in a um, hidden in an umbrella. That's actually pretty cool. But yeah, so I'll leave you here with the credits, and in the next episode we'll do another character. Hopefully, some of the other runs go a bit more smoother than this one. Because oh my god, if that's gonna be the Right and throughout this entire entire uh, project, then yeah, that's gonna be fun. Probably enter. I don't know if that will be entertaining for you guys. See me redo a fight like five to ten times because the AI decides to wake up and be like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna absolutely murder your ass and not let you have a chance to do anything." I wasn't realized I was playing Tekken Five. Cause I know, like, I'm pretty sure. Was Tekken 5 developed around the same time as this? Either or, I know the AI in that, in that game is especially brutal. Even on easy. But anyway, I'll end things off here and I'll see you for the next character. So enjoy these credits and I'll see you then. Later.
The legend will never die.